Hey, y'all. Um, I've got a documentary that you may or may not want to check out, depending on how you feel about the subject. I did not want to watch this, but I'm running out of stuff to watch. So, if you've got a suggestion on something that has audio description, I would love to hear it. Because I am having a really hard time finding stuff to watch. So, I ended up picking Alabama Snake. You can watch it on HBO Max, with or without your audio description. It came out in 2020. And I, I didn't want to watch it first of all because I thought it was going to be a movie. And I was like, that sounds stupid. But it ended up being a documentary, so it was better. I really enjoyed my documentaries. And look, y'all, bear with me on this one because I am petrified of snakes. Like, I had a really bad, like, experience that wasn't even real with snakes. So... Uh, anyway, there's this pastor. His name is Glenn Summerford and his wife, uh, Darlene. And uh, they have like this church and people hold rattlesnakes, okay? These things, if they bite you and you don't get help, you are probably going to die. And I don't even know probably should it be even be in that sentence. But anyway. Alright. It comes up like in the mo documentary. It's a woman like standing on the porch. And the paramedics are pulling up. And the paramedic is like looking at her arm. And they can already tell that like the flesh and the skin is like starting to rot. And she's like... My husband forced my hand into one of the rattlesnake cages and it bit me. And they say it bit her twice, but there's kind of like controversy on that because I think they only seen one snake bite, but she lived. But, uh, you know, they're in like Alabama in like a small little town. So they have to go to like a hospital that's going to have the antivenom. I think that's what it's called. And uh, so she can live because if that venom gets up to her heart, boom, she did. I mean, it, the, I don't think there's no coming back from that. And um, she gets bit. Okay. And kind of, like, it's so weird because they do this in the church. Like, they handle these rattlesnakes. And I know, I, I get it. It says something in the Bible about. You can get bit by a snake and not die. And I, I don't remember exactly what it says, but I know it's in there. But, y'all, don't be stupid. Don't be picking up a venomous snake like a rattlesnake. And um, so she's got bit. So the cops are there. And they're having to get these 15 rattlesnakes, okay, out of these boxes and stuff because they're evidence now because one of them has bit them bit her and i'm just like if i was a cop i would quit my job because these men i mean these snakes were extremely agitated i mean their tails were going like it sounded like a bunch of maracas going on and i was like oh god it like it was making me just sick to my stomach oh god no i hate snakes but they get these snakes and i mean they're trying to, like, kick the door shut because the snakes are, like, snapping or lunging or whatever they do. And, uh, I don't know. But uh, he, the pastor is, like, trying to say that she was committing suicide, which, why would you want to go that way? That sounds really awful. But it was a mess, like, and this, like, this is for real, y'all. This ain't no, like, fictional, like, movie. This was a documentary, and he made her get bit by a snake. And, whew, if you like snakes, you will like this movie. Uh, I mean, documentary, sorry. I thought it was a movie in the beginning. 
However, if you have a fear of snakes, don't watch this because I had a really hard time watching this one. I tried to get my brother to watch it with me, but he left me alone to watch it all by myself. So that was really hard. Um, I can't say that I, I, I liked it because it was a documentary and I liked all the like crime and stuff behind it because I mean this man because he made his wife get bit by the snake he did like well did he's doing 99 years in prison that's a long time and he actually I think he escaped for like 15 minutes and they found him in the dumpster so they brought him back to prison so that was a really pitiful escape attempt but uh it was a very interesting documentary. So, if you want to go check it out, it's on HBO Max. It's called Alabama Snake. And I'm so sick and tired of saying that word. So, I will see y'all very soon with another review. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't be blindsided. And I'll have a better movie next time. So, thanks.